Okay, so um, we wait a few more minutes for Olafemi to uh, uh, to join us. Uh, let's say like uh, five past or something uh, like that. Uh, then we start. In the meantime, wh what is your experience with this book clubs? Have you got all of the, all of your as a experience with um, how to um, join a book club? Do the notes? Uh, uh, how many book clubs did you do? So this is uh, this is my first book club in the uh, R four DS community. Right. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. It's my first as well. I've had my eye on some for a while, but this is the first one where I've been able to join. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Same with me too. This is my first time participating in the, the book, club, book club. And uh, yeah. Okay, so very welcome. So we, we know that we um, like to uh, know a bit more about how to uh, how we deal with these book clubs, what do we do, and how to make the notes if you like to improve our notes, the notes that are already been made. So do you know how to uh, use GitHub? Yeah, okay, that's great. Okay, so... This is a, a nice, uh, nice book. So I did it a, uh, a couple of times. Um, it's it's very well written, and uh, so you um, and it 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 says at the very beginning that you it requires a knowledge of modeling and statistics. That that's correct, but you can manage it as well, even if you don't. So you can just like. Start modeling with with the case studies presented in the book, and then you might, if if you need, you you might want to like research about uh, things and um, be able to improve your learning. Um, okay, I think we we can even start, and then all of family will join us uh, uh, as soon as he can. Would you like to introduce yourself a bit? Tell about yourself um, and what you do, uh, what are your expectations from this book club. And um, so just, just tell us about yourself. Thank you. Um, OK, so I can start. Uh, my name is Matan. Um, it's pronounced like a baton, like a stick. So Matan. Uh -huh. um, I'm from Israel. Uh, I'm a head of research at the Israel Institute for Cultural Policy. So I research um, cultural policy, uh, budgets, um, local government, central government uh, policy regarding um, the development of culture. Um, I've been using R for about, I'd say, between uh, a year and a year and a half. You know, it depends how we count. Um, and this is my first uh, book club, as I said, um, so really happy to be here. Um, and just uh, uh, to share, um, uh, just uh, one hour ago, I received an email that my first package was accepted to CRAN. Um, so it's, it's a very simple package. It's about um, printing uh, right to, to left text. So um, it's, it has only one function, so very basic, but it's very exciting for me uh, to publish my first package. So yeah, that's me. That's great. Yeah, we 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 like to know a bit more about this package. How how, how is called? Uh, it's name? called the uh, RTLR. Uh, RTL stands for right to left, and R stands for R because you always have to put an R in your package's name. Um, and a lot of times, uh, because I'm from Israel and uh, I use uh, Hebrew, um, I have to 
post content and plots and whatever in Hebrew. Um, a lot of times when you uh, plot, uh, you put uh, Hebrew text, which is right to left in the ggplot, um, it messes up with the punctuation, like the dots, apostrophes, exclamation marks, um, parentheses, so forth. Um, so this, this is like some kind of utility function that um, makes it print uh, correctly. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Should I go next? Hi, I'm Freya. Um, I'm a data scientist from London. I work for a startup company that uh, works with rare diseases, trying to use electronic health record data to find people with undiagnosed rare diseases. And I've been using R for um, not really sure a long time. I used it since my PhD, which was uh, quite a long time ago now, but um, I am uh, I've used it for kind of different things. I've done a bit of modeling, but I'm a bit rusty and I've not used the tidy models package. So um, I would like to find out more about, about using it. Thank you. Great. Pardon? Yeah, I'm Kodri. I am from Nigeria. And currently I'm a PhD student in Poland. And uh, it's been, I've been using R also for a long time since during my master's degree. And uh, I will say I am at uh, a bit intermediate level, but I have not yet developed my package. Congratulations, Martin, for your package. And it's really interesting to know that uh, like it's it's a big inspiration for me. Like within a short time of you uh, utilizing the R software, you have been able to develop a package, which is really good. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, opportunity. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All of them you cannot talk apparently. So yes. Okay. I, I can just. Yeah. I think I can go on. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Olua Femi. Uh, oh yeah, I'm from Nigeria. I think I am currently. I've done multiple book club in the R for DS. I am also currently. I'm facilitating the. R for Data Science Book Club, and also co-facilitating uh, the Data Vis R Book Club alongside with uh, Lydia Gibson. I have done the Mastering Shiny Book Club, I think, with Federica, and also the Advanced R. But I'm looking forward to improving my modeling skill. That is why I choose uh, to sign up for the Tidy Modeling in R ecosystem. So I'll be looking forward to learning more from this uh, book club. Thank you. Thank you. So just a little bit about me. Uh, I, my name is Federica. I'm from Italy. Uh, I did a multiple book clubs as well and facilitated uh, a cohort with, about this book club as well, the Teddy Models with that. I already done it. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I am a statistician and an actuary. Uh, I work as an independent researcher, uh, especially um, uh, on uh, uh, statistical modeling, so I'm interested in improving those things. Uh, and uh, so they need a facilitator, so I enjoy doing those things. And uh, I, I wanted to revisit this, uh, these things because the, the book has been uh, published. And uh, since I did it, the previous course, something changed. So it might be interesting to see what uh, uh, are the main uh, improvements. So thank you all. Um, first thing I'd like to uh, show you uh, how, how it works, basically, with these book clubs. Okay, so I'll share my screen. Uh, this is luck. Okay, so uh, you you know that this is uh, the, the tidy models uh, with our channel, and uh, here on the very top, uh, you have some pin um, uh, links. Uh, here you find the book. Uh, here is the uh, Google sheet for signing up as a volunteer as a speaker. 
Uh, here are the, the, the notes. The, the notes are basically um, sort of uh, uh, presentations for each chapter that uh, the, all of us that um, participated to this um, book club has built it up along the way. So you might find uh, all the slides, all the chapters already done, but we suggest you to improve them. So like if you like to, when you do your chapter, if you like to add things or change it, you can do it. Uh, or otherwise you can use uh, whatever you like to present your chapter, basically. So this is the GitHub repo. And uh, there is a, even a quote in, in Spanish. So um, I like to show you this. Uh, uh, have you seen the, the, the Google sheet for signing up? Uh, maybe not. Okay, so then when you click on that, on that link, it leads you to this, um, to this Google page. Uh, where there is the list of the, the chapters and the approximate day uh, that we are going to uh, read this chapter. So in my, we, basically we, um, we are, um, uh, the, so we might de decide differently. So if we like to like postpone a session more than done than do twice uh, in, in in one session we can do it so just agree with the we talk about and we arrange things as we like uh, here you put your name uh, you choose your chapter you put your name and then you find that there will be a count of the uh, the number of chapter that you did it this is the the book i'm sure that you uh, have seen it uh, but before that uh, i like to um, to show you the github repo so this is the um, you find the link as well on the on slack this is the github repo where the all the chapter for the notes uh, are stored and there is a list for the previous course uh, with along with meetings uh, and videos and everything. Uh, uh, how to present. So when um, once you have uh, an idea of what we'd like to um, present, what which one is your chapter, you might want to do more than one. Uh, my role would be to cover you if any of you cannot present your chapter chapter i would be there for 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 do that session in case um and um so you um i'm sure that matan has a, a bit of experience with github seeing that <laughs> you made a chap um a pack a package already um i'm not sure about the others uh if you need any help please uh, just you know, ask uh, in the Slack channel to me or whatever you like. So you find you find your answer. But just in case you you can uh, uh, in have uh, do it easily. And this is for adapting changes using the notes which are already been made. But if you like to add some information, improve them, you uh, are welcome to do that. And in order to do that, you need to use this dev tools. So these two packages, and then it's quite straightforward. So you use this and uh, create your fork on your uh, R Studio or ID environment. Once you have your fork, you uh, adapt your chapter because they are already filled up. So you, you make your changes. And then you uh, do, um, uh, you basically uh, commit and put your changes uh, using this, uh, uh, this command. 
because basically what you need to do once you have port the, the repo, you need to have your own branch, which will be one branch for each uh, time that you make a chapter. Uh, and once you have made your changes, committed and pushed it, uh, then the, the, the changes will be revisited by John and eventually accepted. Uh, the, the, the branch uh, uh, need to be deleted. So, and then the next time when you do another chapter, you start back again. Here, uh, as you can see, there is a quite straightforward step-by-step -step, um, uh, procedure uh, to um, do these things. If you have any questions, uh, uh, you do you have already some questions? Any questions? Or no? You may want to have a look at it, uh, and then if you have any questions, uh, you know we find a way to to answer them. Okay, so this is uh, this is the book. Let's have a first uh, like quick uh, overview of what's. Uh, is inside, and then uh, uh, this is the the software for mod for modeling first first like chapter introduction of the as well as for the book. So this is uh, Tali Modin Vidal, fifth cohort. Uh, the uh, this fabulous book is made by uh, Max Kuhn and Julia Silge. Uh, this is a very, very interesting book because it leads you with case studies uh, inside the language of tidy models. And um, you straight uh, away apply the, the, the syntax and uh, do the modeling, basically. Um, so it assumes that you have some knowledge of statistics, as I said, and as well as modeling, because then you might ask yourself, okay, I can use the, these models because for this case study, it's, it's a shown uh, how to use it. But what that, what's happened if I've got different data? What type of models I, uh, shall I use? So you might find some interesting um, extra uh, information in the tidy model tidy models website this website is very uh, well written so you can really uh, um, build the model process your data evaluate your model uh, and it's rich uh, in case studies that you can connect with the book. So as well as the, the book, you might refer to this uh, website as well. And here you find, uh, um, if you, uh, for example, search, uh, you can find all about tidy models, all about um, modeling engines, because then, then we will we'll go back to, to what are the, the packages included inside the model's ecosystem. Because it is a, a meta package, so it contains other packages, just, just as the same at IDverse. And then, uh, so in this explore ID models, you find lots of information. Okay. So let's go back to the book. Okay, so the book is uh, made of 21 chapters. And um, we have a little introduction about modeling fundamentals, basically. Three chapters, are, but they, they are worth it, all of them. Then uh, we are going to have a section about modeling basics. And, but we go straight into case studies. So we use real data and we apply the data uh, to, to the modeling, to the tidy model syntax. 
Then um, we expand a bit about uh, tools for creating effective models. And so you can make a model, but then you improve your model with resamplings, with comparing results, with tuning, so parameters, and then grid search, iterative search. And so this is uh, all about improving your model. Then um, it depending on uh, what, what is your research, in this third part of the book, we found we find some um, um, explanations um, about techniques that should be used under some conditions, uh, as well as how to feature engineer, uh, engineering some uh, predictors, so uh, or. Uh, what is the best way to explain the result of your model, uh, why you should trust your predictors. And then we are going to, so tidy, tidy models uh, syntax is uh, um, the difference from, from base R like caret or the, 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 so the function that we know like LM or GLM and so all the other is that it provides a syntax where you can, uh, uh, like a bucket, you can put all your all the different type of models and then run them all together to see which one works best for, for your analysis. Uh, then uh, there is um, so some information about inferential analysis uh, and, so you, it, it, it is, it is quite, quite interesting. Um, let's see, let's have a look at the notes uh, that uh, uh, they have been built up along the way with uh, all the, the goals. So this, this is um, uh, like a, a book made with book down. Uh, and um, uh, they are basically the, the the purpose of these notes is to give you give us um, uh, a place to share our presentation, but uh, you know have the chance to go back there if you want to revisit. So it it is all there. But it's not uh, you. You're not obliged to use this format. So you can do your presentation uh, differently. Basically, you can use. But it's suggested to 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 use this this format. Um. So I've, I've already mentioned uh, all those things. Um. Our sessions will be recorded and stored on YouTube, the uh, R4DS uh, channel. So you find it there. Okay. So basically, this uh, the, the this first chapter, uh, the learning objective um, for for this chapter is to. Uh, um, give an introduction about tidy models, but uh, define a bit what is a descriptive, inferential, or, or predictive model, because we are going to use all of them and uh, have a, a, li uh, um, a little introduction uh, is always useful. Also, we are going to use uh, tools uh for supervised and unsupervised analysis as well as we are going to make regression and classifications models as well as we are going to use quantitative and qualitative data so uh, all these things uh, um, um are, we are going to have a, a little do a little uh, introduction about these things basically so 
uh, tidy models uh, is a meta package, which means that it includes uh, other packages. And um, it, you, it helps you um, creating um, like uh, a chain of uh, functions, uh, pipe it with a, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, Magritte pipe, a chain of functions for modeling. It's a sort of a um, language for modeling where you can uh, uh, apply more models in uh, all together uh, and uh, within your analysis. So it provides internal consistency, sensible default, and um, uh, some, somehow um, it is um, able to uh, leave you understanding what possible error would be in, 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 in case are any. Uh, so we have uh, we we are going to deal with descriptive models, which are uh, those ones where are uh, used for describe or illustrate characteristics. We are going to use inferential models. Uh, they, you know, when uh, you applying inferential techniques uh, as well as uh, probability outputs. Such as, uh, and such, we are going to have a touch of uh, multiple um, uh, parameters uh, and um, uh, as well as we are going to uh, predict uh, our uh, uh, results. So we are going to make predictive models. So, and the aim is to produce the most accurate possible uh, predictions, okay? So then, then um, the difference between mechanistic, um, like the, me the mechanistic models, uh, such as the, the, the basic models that we know is, um, uh, you it depends by your data it depends by your type your analysis but uh, we are going to uh, compare the use of the base r uh, modeling uh, with uh, the use of tidy models as well so along within the chapters you see that it starts with, for example, make a simple linear regression with ELM, and then slightly lead you, leads you to uh, using tidy models. Uh, and as well on, uh, in the tidy models uh, website, you can find those information. Um, so if you uh, like get stuck with anything, go back there and have a look at the examples and you, uh, find a way to uh, understand. Okay. Yeah. Have you got any questions? Maybe. Okay. Uh, so we uh, within the predictive models we have mechanistic models and empirically driven models. We are going to use all of them. Um, okay. Uh, just to, um, because the, these notes have been just a, a bit expanded with the, um, uh, with some other extra research that the uh, participants have done. So, but as we are going to use the um, uh, PCA super, for supervisor and supervised analysis, um, the, uh, the unsupervised models, just to go back, I don't know if you uh, have background knowledge of those things. So the unsupervised models are those models that you uh, were, uh, um, use when uh, you are not focusing on the response variable, but you are just analyze your data and see how 
uh, so basically when you, you have all predictors and not a response. So when you analyze uh, um, all your predictors as a, uh, in a matrix uh, and you analyze how they group, if they group within each other and how they group within each other, uh, and a uh, well-known example is the uh, principal component analysis, as well as clustering or autoencoders. Um, while the supervised uh, model analysis is the classical, uh, for example, just to give an example, the classical regression model, so where you have a response and the predictors. So this is a supervised analysis. And it can be a, a regression or classification um, type of model. We are going to deal with quantitative and qualitative data. Uh, quantitative are data and numbers, qualitative are uh, just categorical, so it's factors. And so I think we can just go forward. Uh, so the outcome, I'm, I'm not sure about that if you, so the outcome is, is is the variable that you uh, aim to predict. And uh, most probably you have within your data, but you might want to predict how it will behave in the future or under different conditions. So this is, uh, is the outcome or the response variable. And then the predictors are the, the other uh, variables that you use for explain uh, the behavior uh, of your outcomes. Okay, so the data analysis process is not just modeling, okay? It's uh, include um, lots of uh, so, uh, different type of procedures, so like you import data, you tie the data, uh, then you do a bit of feature engineering. So you transform your data in a way that they are uh, suitable for making the best model. And uh, you, before that, you have, uh, you do have some visualizations. So in a way that you can identify what, what you are going to, where you need to make the changes and how you need to make the changes and then uh, model them to communicate your result. Okay, and here it's a nice, uh, th this is a nice visualization that uh, uh, basically uh, lets you understand what's happening when you use more than one model. So as well as before, so we did, you import the data, you tie the data, and then you do like a bit of uh, feature engineering, um, is product data analysis, feature engineering, and then you start applying a few type of models that you think are suitable for your, for your analysis and based on your data, based on the type of feature engineering that you can do within your data. So like, let's say that we start with four ty different type of models or, but I, I mean, different type of models, not just different type of engines, like, um, like, I don't know, like random forest more than uh, um, KNN uh, or support vector machines. Uh, I mean, uh, even if when you change slightly uh, inside the, the, your model, like you add or uh, interaction terms, or you change the predictors within using the same model. This is leads you to have a, a different model. So you, even if you do not have the same engine, okay? This first step, um, after this first step, you evaluate which one of these this models that you first applied is the best one. And then you might realize that you might need more feature engineering. And that means uh, you need to adjust your uh, predictor differently in a way that, you, that they can be used, um, can release better results or clearer results. 
And then you apply again uh, the, the uh, modeling strategy to finally have a, a final model evaluation. So the exploratory data analysis is a very important part as well as feature engineering. And then uh, um, the tuning of the parameters uh, as well as the automatic tuning when we are talking about machine learning, it's a very important part. It depends by the type of data, what type of analysis are you doing, but that that is a very important part. And then the, finally, uh, we do model evaluation. So uh, as I said, it's, it's a very interesting book. And um, uh, this is all I've got for, for this first part. Hope you um, uh, enjoy reading the book and uh, find the, the a way to select your chapter, put your name uh, in the Google Sheet and start telling us about your findings. Um, uh, because um, it's, it's, it sometimes it takes time uh, uh, but um, when you uh, switch from from like base R to a different syntax, uh, but there's, there's a lot of examples. So uh, just apply following the examples, and then um, it will be easy to do. Yes. Any questions? Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, thank you so much, Federica. Um, it's also very interesting and also very um, insightful to see like that's a way for me and I guess also for, for the rest of us to understand how this book club thing works. So uh, really thank you for uh, modeling uh, um, both meanings intended. Um, I wanted to ask a few questions. Um, one is, um, are we uh, uh, plan to meet with either uh, Max or Julia in our final uh, session of the, of the book club? That might be possible. That might be possible. Yeah, we definitely okay. ask them. <laughs> that uh, uh, we, I, I understand that we are probably a, a smaller a club than others, so. Um, I guess um, that's also a consideration, but if it's possible, then I personally would be really happy. Um, and another um, uh, either suggest, suggestion or, uh, or idea is uh, if during uh, reading the book, we would be able to, um, to um, read, to view uh, some uh, real life code using tidy models, um, because I think it has a lot of value um, 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 in addition to to looking at what's in the book itself, um, so it, it because uh, I I don't know about uh, uh, the rest of us, but uh, for me I don't have uh, too much of uh, real life uh, tidy models code. So if you have as either a professional or someone who's already um, been through the cycle of the book club. Uh, I think it has a lot of value for me and I guess uh, for the rest of us. Um, so that's another idea. Uh, and uh, just a final note, um, uh, next week um, we have a holiday in Israel. We're celebrating Passover. So unfortunately I won't be here, um, but two weeks from now I'll be back um, to regular um, meetings. Yeah. Anyone else? Yes, I have a uh, question and uh, also, uh, well, the, the first question is about the uh, initial, the, you, when you are describing the process of modeling, you talked about the initial feature engineering. So I was trying to think because for me, I am much more familiar with the the mixed effect models and uh, not the, I'm not too familiar with the uh, various uh, machine learning model like the 
a random forest and uh, a support vector machine. So I'm thinking like this initial feature engineering is it the one that we in because in mixed effect model like for example uh, generalized linear mixed effect model you, you there is a function where I use a dredge like to select uh, to do a variable selection based on the AIC. So I don't know if if it is what you are referring to as the uh, feature engineering. And uh, the second the second question is uh, about uh, how frequent we meet, or is it based on uh, when someone wants to present? And uh, the time, I think the time is, uh, for me, it is more, it is okay for me because of the fact that I'm, I'm in the, I'm, I'm a PhD student, so I'm more in the office, so or less maybe when I'm in the field or when I have uh, something else to do in the lab, that is when I, will, I won't be available. But I think uh, if we can uh, plan in terms of, uh, I mean, plan ahead, then what that will make me or everyone to also uh, take uh, to know which of the days or which particular time will, will everyone will be available for discussion and presentations. Okay. Uh, to to uh, first of all, um, I, I, I put in the chat uh, the website of Julia Silgi. So you uh, have some uh, real um, so live coding there about modeling of any the most uh, different kinds. Uh, we are uh, we there's absolutely something that would be very useful to ju jump to use the case study presented in the chapter and do a live uh, coding while presenting that that is uh, an excellent uh, uh, way to learn in fact you memorize immediately when you see the other that is typing the thing so yes uh, hopefully we can do that yeah mm. Why not? And uh, about uh, the feature engineering things, uh, uh, that means uh, that you have um, your data and, and you have your um, vectors uh, that you use as a predictors. So just a sort of uh, making uh, interaction terms. So you multiply or transforming your data, like applying a log, or an exponential, uh, but more of this is about uh, feature engineering. So you basically modify your predictors in a way that uh, are your your are like uh, visible uh, and easily manageable within your model engines. And but okay. uh, okay. to do in order to do that, we use a, a package uh, within the study models uh, meta package, which is recipe. Uh, uh, so we use the recipe. Uh, the recipe. I don't know if it make confusion to the, pronounce these things, um, which provides uh, lots of steps functions. So the step functions are used for making feature engineering. And then we are going to we we'll see these these things and apply them. Then about when we meet. So next week, uh, I'm I am away in two weeks time. Uh, the eighteenth, I will not be able to attend this this session most probably because I'm on a flight. Uh, so hopefully one of you uh, can can uh, obviously, obviously present. So present uh, next week. Um, I'm okay with that. So it's all up up to us. So we can even jump two weeks and then come back later. Um, it's up to. Uh, 
all sessions are recorded. So if you maybe happen that for any uh, circumstances you, you cannot attend the session or just advise you if you are uh, supposed to present your chapter, obviously, but uh, you have the, the the session recorded on YouTube straight away after the the, the session ended, more or less, like two hours later. So, what would you like to do for next for the next two weeks? Um, for me, um, recording is perfect, so I don't mind if you guys would meet with, without me. I, I wouldn't want to uh, inhibit the, the progress of reading the book, and especially in the start where we need like this kind of, I guess, initial momentum. So, uh, so for me, uh, uh, just following, catching up with the, uh, with the YouTube recording is perfect, and I'll be here in, in two weeks time and that's perfect for me. What what do you think, Freya? Yeah, I think I think that would work for me. Uh, for me, it's slightly. I, I think I'm free. It's one of those things that like sometimes things come up and I can't work around them, but I should be able to join next week. Okay, that's good. Depends okay. on the meetings, but I'll try and keep it free so that I can join. Okay. There any any of you that can join next week would like to present the chapter, second chapter. It's, it's still an introduction, nothing nothing else. Uh, you have the notes already made. If you like to use that for as a for, to to present as a as a presentation, you 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 can make your presentation whatever you like. Even I don't know. Would you like to think about that and then put your name down maybe later? <laughs> I'd like to think about it and see if I can commit to being free then. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Have you got any other question? Did I answer everything? Not for me. Thank you very much for that introduction and for explaining how it will all work. Um, I have a, another um, another idea, another uh, proposal. Um, maybe in the beginning of, of every session, um, each time one of us could um, introduce himself in um, a bit more like either professionally or academically. Um, what is it that they do? Um, um, examples of, of either uh, projects, works, research, um, whatever. Um, I think the part of the added value of this uh, book club is also like this kind of uh, meeting, networking. Um, so um, for me, I guess it's interesting to see um, what other people, you know, from all over the world are doing. So um, I'll be happy. Um, obviously not next week, but uh, any time um, also to, to introduce some of my work. Um, yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I think it's, like, it's an excellent idea. Yeah, that's okay. Any... Okay, so I think we... we... We all set, yeah. Great. Um. So we'll see. We we'll catch up on Slack. We can. Uh. Any 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 questions? Any any things that you don't know how to do? You just ask. And uh, what else? Uh. So uh, we meet next week. Uh, and within two weeks time uh, I, I won't be able to attend the session but one of you uh, will cover me <laughs> okay yeah great thank you it was a pleasure meeting you all and I'm really looking forward to this um, journey together so thank you thank you same. Thank, uh, you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>